And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's specialist subjects are the artist with the golden touch, one of the great indie bands, the oldest football cup competition, and the poet who wrote wonderful nonsense. The usual rules apply two minutes on those subjects and 30 seconds more on general knowledge, and they cannot prepare for that one, of course. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Janet Farley. Your occupation? Laboratory technician. And your chosen subject? REM. The American rock band fronted by Michael Stipe, who got together in 1980, lasted for 31 years in two minutes, starting now. What is the title of REM's first full-length studio album released by IRS Records in 1983? Mama. Yep, which music video that won six MTV awards in September 1991 caused controversy in Ireland because of the imagery it contained? Losing My Religion. Yes. Who played the off-kilter drum beat instead of Bill Berry on the untitled final track from Green? Joey Waronka? Peter Buck. What track on the 1987 album Document has lyrics that refer to Leonard Bernstein and a party with cheesecake and jelly beans? It's the end of the world as we know it. Yes. On the 1998 album Up, the band gave Leonard Cohen a co-writer's credit for the song Hope because of its similarity to one of Cohen's songs. Which song? Suzanne. Yes. Who produced the album Document with R.E.M. and went on to produce five more of the band's studio albums before Pat McCarthy took over? Scott Litt. Yep. Which hip-hop artist performs a rap on the track The Outsiders on R.E.M.'s album Around the Sun? Q-Tip. Yep. Which single that reached the UK Top 10 in 2003 was a rework of a song entitled PSA, created in 1986? Pass. What is the name of the website where REM unveiled one teaser video clip every 24 hours from the 1st of January 2008 until the release of their album Accelerate? 90 Nights. 90 Nights. Which 1988 song does Stipe say is about the Vietnam War in the liner notes to part lies, part heart, part truth, part garbage? Orange Crush. Yes. The 1994 single What's the Frequency, Kenneth, takes its title from words used during a street assault on an American broadcaster. What's his name? Dan Rather. Yes. Which musician from the Young Fresh Fellows did Buck recruit for the Monster Tour of 1995? Peter Holsucker. No, Scott McCaughey. At what music festival did REM first appear on the 25th of June 1999 as part of a European tour? Glastonbury. Yes. Which Princeton art student and entrepreneur financed the studio time for the production of the EP Chronic Town? David Healy. It was indeed David Healy. Uh, you had just one pass, Janet, and that was the single that reached the uh, top ten in 2003 was Bad Day. However, you have scored... 11 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? John Payne. Your occupation? Barman. And your chosen subject? The life and works of Edward Lear. The Victorian writer who's much loved for his nonsense poetry. Starting now, what type of creatures went to sea in a sieve in Edward Lear's poem, The Dong with a Luminous Nose? The Jumblies. Yes, the 20-year-old Lear was engaged to draw the animals and birds of a menagerie at a stately home near Liverpool. Which stately home? Uh, Nosley Hall. Yes, in The Owl and the Pussycat, which creature's willing to sell for one shilling the ring at the end of his nose? Um, the pig. Yes, piggy wig. Lear's first publication appeared between 1830 and 1832 and was a series of illustrations of a family of birds. What birds? Uh, parrots. Yes. Lear made his first trip to Europe in 1837. What is the English translation of the name of the street in Rome where he had his first lodgings? Uh, Baboon Street. Yes. In 1846, which amateur artist requested a series of 12 drawing lessons to be given to her on the Isle of Wight? Uh, Queen Victoria. Yes. In one of Lear's nonsense verses, what creature sat on the top of the crumpety tree with his face obscured by a hat that is 102 feet wide with ribbons and bibbons on either side? Um, the, uh, the dong with the luminous nose. No, the quangle wangle yeah. quee. 
Of which birds did he write? None but we have feet like fins with lovely leathery throats and chins. Pelicans. Yes. Lear produced several books with titles beginning Journal of a Landscape Painter. An island was the subject of his last travel book in the series, published in 1870. Which island? Um, Crete. Corsica. Which poet laureate and friend of Lear had some of his work set to music by Lear? Uh, Tennyson. Yes. What pseudonym did he use when his first book of nonsense was published in 1846? Derry down Derry. Yep. In a famous verse by Lear, which creature swam across the Bristol Channel, but before he set out, he wrapped his nose in a piece of scarlet flannel? Uh, the pobble without any toes. Yes. What was the name of his beloved cat who lived with him in Italy during his later years and was drawn by him on numerous occasions? In his diary, he described his pet as a good addition to one's lonely, lonely life. Old Foss. Yes. Which of the great Himalayan peaks was he commissioned to paint during his Indian excursions that began in 1873? Kanchenjunga. Yes, exactly. Perfectly pronounced. No passes, John. You've scored 12 points. Thank you very much. Contender, please. And your name is? Rebecca Shaw. Your occupation? Operations manager. And your chosen subject? Gustav Klimt. The painter from Vienna, known for his lavishly decorated portraits, such as The Kiss. In two minutes, starting now, a group of artists led by Gustav Klimt formed an association in 1897 to break away from the established Conservative Academy. What was the association called? The Secession Movement. Yes. Klimt depicted a play by Shakespeare in a mural for the new Burgtheater in Vienna in 1888. What play? Romeo and Juliet. Yep. One of his earliest uses of gold leaf was in an 1898 painting of a Greek goddess who was adopted as the guardian of the secession group. Which goddess? Athena. Yep. Which Viennese art museum holds a large collection of Klimt's work, including his celebrated painting, The Kiss? The Osterreich Gallery. Uh, yes, or the Belvedere. In which painting did he respond to public criticism by quoting Schiller's words, if you cannot please everyone with your deeds and your art, please a few, to please many is bad. Palace Athena? Nuda Veritas. Klimt's 1903 painting of a heavily pregnant nude woman was sold immediately but was not displayed for several years to avoid public outrage. What's its title? Hope. Yes. Who became Klimt's companion to the end of his life after they met when his brother Ernst married her sister? Emily Floger. Yes. Klimt painted a large decorative frieze for the 14th exhibition of the Secession. Which composer was it dedicated to? Beethoven. Yes. Which monster did he depict as a giant brown ape-like creature in the Beethoven frieze? Tan. Typhus. A portrait by Klimt was sold for $135 million in 2006. Who's the subject of the work? Adele Blochbauer. Yes. In what city is the Basilica of San Vitale that he visited in 1903? Ravenna. Yep. Klimt developed a mentor-student relationship with a young Austrian artist after Klimt displayed the artist's work at the Kunschau exhibition for the first time in 1909. Who was the artist? Jan Schiele. Yes. Which of Klimt's paintings was awarded first prize at the 1911 International Art Exhibition in Rome? Medicine. Death and Life. On what lake east of Salzburg did he spend summers with the family of Emilia Flüger? It inspired many of his landscape paintings. The Atrasy. Yes. What painting medium that consists of paint mixed with water and gum did he use for the work Auditorium at the Old Burg Theatre in 1888? Gouache. Yes, indeed. No passes, Rebecca. You have 12 points. Thank you. And our final contender now, please. Your name is? Simon Jenkins. Your occupation? Fundraising manager. And your chosen subject? The FA Cup, 1978-2018. In two minutes starting now, who led his team to the League and FA Cup double in 1986 in his first season as a player manager? Kenny Dalgleish. Yes, what was the name of the BBC television commentator for the 1988 FA Cup final between Wimbledon and Liverpool? At the final whistle, he said, the crazy gang have beaten the culture club. 
John Motson. Yes, in 1994, Manchester United won a replay against Oldham Athletic in the last FA Cup semi-final to be staged at which ground? Main Road. Yes, in 2013, which team won the FA Cup but were relegated from the Premier League three days later? Wigan Athletic. Yep. Who came on as a substitute for Millwall against Manchester United in 2004, aged 17 years and 119 days, to become the youngest FA Cup finalist? Pass. In January 1992, Arsenal had a shock defeat in the third round against a fourth division team. Which team? Wrexham. Yes. In 1985, Manchester United's Kevin Moran was the first player to be sent off in an FA Cup final. What was the name of the referee who made that decision? Uh, pass. Which Premier League team did Lincoln City beat in February 2017 to become the first non-league club since 1914 to reach the quarter-finals? Burnley. Yep. Yeah. Which team became the first Scottish club in over a century to play in the first round of the English FA Cup in 1991? At the time, they were playing in the English Northern League. Gretna. Yeah. Who scored the fastest FA Cup final goal after just 25 seconds of the match between Everton and Chelsea in 2009? Louis Sahar. Yeah. Paul Bracewell played in three losing FA Cup finals for Everton in the 1980s and then a fourth for which club in 1992? Uh, Sunderland. Yes. Who equalised for Manchester United two minutes from the end of the 1979 final, only for Arsenal to score the winner a minute later? Sammy McElroy. Yes. Which club played in an FA Cup final for the first time in 2011? Uh... Make a guess. Portsmouth. No, Stoke City. Two passes. The referee who sent off Kevin Moran, the first player to be sent off in a final, was Peter Willis. And the chap who came on as a substitute for Millwall, aged 17 and 119 days, that was Curtis Weston. You have, Simon, 10 points. It's that stage in the programme where we invite all our contenders back into the studio together. <laughs> and this now is the general knowledge round. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes will win. If they are tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember that the contenders don't know what each other have scored in the early round. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And, as always, we start with the contender with the lower score, and that is Simon. And I can tell everybody, well, the other three... Contenders, that is, that you have scored, Simon, ten points so far. And you now have two and a half minutes of questions on general knowledge. Here we go. What term of American origin is used to describe a drink, commonly an alcoholic one, served over ice cubes? Rocks. On the rocks. Which race course hosts a celebrated national hunt meeting in March that includes the champion hurdle and the gold cup? Cheltenham. Yep. Which teenage wizard was born on the 31st of July 1980, the day his creator celebrated her 15th birthday? Uh, Harry Potter. Yes. What branch of the Franciscan religious order takes its name from the pointed hoods its members wear? Um, pass. Which 1985 film features Billy Ocean's song, When the Going Gets Tough, the Tough Get Going? Uh, pass. What word for a person who tries to associate with those of higher social status and behaves condescendingly to others is an old colloquial term for a shoemaker or his apprentice? Cobblers. Snob. Which conservation body bought its first building, Alfriston Clergy House in East Sussex, for £10 in 1896? Pass. The large white, it originated in Yorkshire, is one of the world's most popular breeds of which farm animal? Sheep. Pig. Which ballet star was born in Siberia in 1938 and defected to the West in 1961 while he was touring with the Kirov Ballet? Uh, Nijinsky? No, Nurayev. What is the name of the computer that selects the winning numbers of premium bonds? It's an acronym of the computer's function. Pass. Which Conservative politician is the only child of the Reverend Hubert Brazier and his wife Zadie? Uh, pass. 
The Irish vocal group The Bachelors reached number three in the UK charts in April 1966 with the cover version of a Simon and Garfunkel song. What was it called? Bridge Over Troubled Water. The Sound of Silence. Which town near Cannes is a renowned centre for the production of fragrances for the perfume industry and of flavourings for food manufacturers? Uh, nice. Grass. Who first published his Dictionary of Phrase and Fable in 1870? It was revised in 1895. It's widely regarded as a standard reference work. Uh, no, pass. Jarlsberg, the mild Swiss-style cheese, originates from which country? Uh, Germany. No, Norway. Which Staffordshire town gives its name to an 1834 manifesto issued by Sir Robert Peel that's widely regarded as having defined the modern Conservative Party? Uh, no. Help you out with that one? That was Tamworth. That was one of your passes. The other passes, Ebenezer Cobham Brewer first published his Dictionary of Phrases and Fables. Theresa May was the Conservative politician. The name of the computer that selects premium bond winners is Ernie. It's the National Trust that bought its first building for £10 in 1896. The Jewel of the Nile was that 85 film featuring Billy Ocean's song When the Going Gets Tough and that branch of the Franciscan religious order, the Capuchins. With those seven passes, uh, Simon, you now have a total of 13 points. Now, next in the chair, Janet. And uh, you start out with 11 points. Janet, let's see how you do. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. What Japanese name is given to the art of making decorative designs, such as bird forms, by folding paper? Origami. Yes, what public school in Scotland, famous for its outdoor activities, was attended by the Duke of Edinburgh and his sons? Gordonstone? Yep. How is the Christian festival of Pentecost traditionally known in Britain and certain other English-speaking areas? Easter. Whitson. Which Dutch city, along with the nearby Europort, forms one of the world's busiest ports? Rotterdam. Yes. What word now used for a large indefinite number originally comes from the Greek for 10,000? Myriad. Yes. Who announced he was stepping down as the president of Sinn Féin in November 2017 after 34 years in charge? Jerry Adams. Yes. Beryl Burton was British best all-rounder for 25 years in succession, starting in 1959. In what sport? Tennis. Cycling. Which comedian and actor's literary works include Making History, The Liar and The Hippopotamus? Stephen Fry. Yes. From what movement of whole sweet the planets does the tune of the patriotic hymn I vow to thee my country come? Jupiter. Yes. Which dancer's screen career was launched when she starred opposite Gene Kelly in the 1951 film An American in Paris? Ginger Rogers. Leslie Cannon. What breed of spaniel is crossed with a cocker spaniel to produce a sprocker spaniel? Springer. Yeah. What mixed salad that usually includes tuna or anchovies, black olives, tomatoes and hard-boiled eggs is named after the city on the French Riviera? Nisoise. Yes. Which band had their last UK top ten hits with Hi and Friday I'm in Love in 1992? Robert Smith's the lead singer. The Cure. Yep. Which 19th century Austrian monk laid the mathematical foundation of the laws of genetics through his experiments on garden pea plants? Mendel. Yes. Who became the first American president to make an official visit to communist China while he was in office in February 1972? Nixon? Yes. What is the name of Wilfred Owen's poem that begins what passing bells for these who die as cattle? Dolce de Coromest. Anthem for doomed youth. Which stately home in Derbyshire is nicknamed the Palace of the Peak? Chatsworth. Yes. Who was head of the film studio on Hyperion Avenue, Los Angeles during the 1930s? It included an area for animators and ink and paint staff where many of the studio's famous characters were created. Walt Disney. Yes. Who played the title character of an ambitious but neurotic lawyer in the television series Ali McBeal? Callista Flockhart. Yes. Which mollusk has two families, the pearl and the true? The latter has been cultivated for centuries as food. Oyster. Yes. No time for another one. No passes. You've scored now 27 points. Thank you. And next in the chair, John. And uh, you start out with 12 points, John. And you have just heard that the score to beat has rather rocketed. 27, no? Here we go. 
Which mythical beast is pictured as a white horse-like creature with a single spiralled horn growing from the middle of its forehead? Unicorn. Yes. What fruit comes from the Bodhi, the tree under which Buddha attained enlightenment? Uh, pear. Fig. Which Aaron Copeland ballet, a love story of the American Southwest, is subtitled The Courting at Burnt Ranch? Fast. What name is given to the assembly of cardinals in the Roman Catholic Church who meet to elect a new pope? That. Um, pass. Who was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for his performance in the title role of the film Edward Scissorhands? Johnny Depp. Yes. What is the surname of the footballing brothers from Ashington in Northumberland who played for England in the 1966 World Cup final? Charlton. Yes. Who won the 2017 Costa Book of the Year Award for her poetry collection Inside the Wave, written during the last weeks of her life? Pass. What religious movement that originated in Jamaica in the 1930s takes its name from the pre-coronation name of the Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie I and believes in his divinity? Rastafarianism. Yes. Who became the presenter of the television panel game show Through the Keyhole when it was revived in 2013? Keith Lemon. Yep. In which of Dickens' novels do Kit Nubbles, Dick Swiveller and the Punch and Judy man Thomas Codlin all appear? Uh... The old curiosity shop? Yes. For what Christian festival is Weihnachtsbier specially brewed in Germany? Uh, Christmas. Yes. The Palace of Facets, the Ivan the Great Bell Tower and the Cathedral of the Dormichon are among the buildings in what fortified complex in Moscow? Um, the Kremlin. Yes. Which group had a top 20 single in 1987 with shoplifters of the world unite? Uh, um, uh, the Smiths. Yes. What is the common name for a myocardial infarction which results from an obstruction of the coronary arteries? Uh, heart attack. Yes. What is the official language of the Republic of Cape Verde? It reflects the island group's colonial past. Portuguese. Yes. Which Spanish painter decorated the walls of his home, the Quinta del Sordo, or Home of the Deaf Man, with a series of morbid murals known as the Black Paintings? Uh, Picasso. Goya, what pastime or hobby uses terms that include Bob, single and grandsire triple? Oh, I was thinking about the last question. Um, uh, sewing. Bell ringing. Uh, three passes. Helen Dunmore was the poet who won the 2017 Costa Book of the Year Award but died before it was awarded to her. Conclave is the assembly when you get the cardinals together to elect the new pope. And Rodeo was that Aaron Copeland ballet. You have now, John, a total of 23 points. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, Rebecca again, please. And Rebecca, you also start with 12 points. The score to beat is 27. Here we go. What fruit completes the title of Roald Dahl's story for children, James and the Giant Peach? Yes. What name is given to the seven-branched candelabrum that has been a symbol of Judaism since early times? Hanukkah. The menorah. Chris Hoy carried the British flag at the 2012 Olympic opening ceremony. Who performed the honour at the 2016 Rio Games? Jessica Ennis Hill. Andy Murray. What Scottish liqueur that dates back to at least 1746 has a name that comes from the Gaelic for the drink that satisfies? Jambiri. Yes. The Quechuan languages, still spoken today, originated from an ancient South American empire. What empire? Incan. Yeah. Which island country that lies astride the equator between mainland South Southeast Asia and Australia is the world's fourth most populous country. Indonesia. Yes. What work by Handel, played at coronations, has been incorporated into the anthem of the UEFA Champions League? What music? Zadok the Priest. What is the title of the Radio 4 documentary series in which the historian and academic Peter Hennessy talks with senior politicians about their lives and times? The day today. Reflections. Which classic 1942 film ends with the line, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship? Casablanca. Yes. What is the alternative name for the legless lizard, the blind worm? Uh, slow worm. Yes. What type of birds were drumstick and wishbone, one of whom was pardoned by Donald Trump in the White House in 2017 in a traditional Thanksgiving Day ceremony? Turkey. Yep. Whose Sword of Honour trilogy, first published in 1965, consists of men-at-arms, officers and gentlemen and unconditional surrender? 
Frederick Forsyth. Evelyn War. What is the name of the virtual group created by Damon Albarn and Jamie Hewlett that had a number two album called Humans in 2017? Gorillas. Yes. Which 16th century poet invented the land of fairy and its queen, Gloriana, in a work of nine line stanzas? Shakespeare. Spencer. The acronym FOMO used in texting and social media stands for the fear of... Missing out. Yes. Which fugitive king is said to have hidden in an oak tree after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester in 1651? Charles II. Correct. Honiton in Devon has been famous for the production of a delicate open work fabric since it was introduced by Flemish settlers during the reign of Elizabeth I. What fabric? Lace. Yes. The Burrell collection of art is housed in which Scottish city? Dundee. Glasgow. What was the name of the bear who appeared on the cover of the Beano comic from 1948 till 1974? Winnie the Pooh. Biffo. In 1934, the White Star shipping line merged with a company that had previously been one of its principal rivals. Which company? Cunard. Cunard line is correct. Rebecca, you have scored a total of 24 points, which means that Janet, with 27 points, is the winner. Close contest, let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 13 points, Simon. Third place, 23 points, John. Second place, 24 points, Rebecca. First place, 27 points, Janet. And she goes through to the semi-finals. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.